Yo, what is up, everybody? It's your boy, your dog, your homie, Ryan Mahalo here, and I'm coming at you with some BFB Coliseum. Play until you lose. I just went in there and lost a game to lose our win streak. So now we're at a win streak of zero. And um, yeah, here we go. This should be a good one. Should be a good one. And I'm gonna do this all in one episode. So it could be a 10 minute video. It could be a three hour video. So we will see how this goes, ladies and gents. Um, if you enjoy the content, by the way, smash that subscribe button. It's looking at you right in the eyes. It's free. You can always unsubscribe, and I would appreciate it. So um, join the club, hashtag road to 5k, and I'll catch you all in the first game. Whoa, first game of the play till you lose. We are against Mr. Mars here. Almost 16,000 games. Holy, bro. Holy. Who is this man's? Inlets is the map. We're definitely going Cobra here. After the nerfs to Boat Mortar, I think Cobra will win, maybe? Uh, it's gonna be weird. I, boat Mortar still might win. Okay, he skips anyways. Indoor Pools, I'm definitely skipping that. Snowy Castle. The Castle of the Snow. We'll hit him with a thumbs up for the lads. And we're gonna go this... Maybe? Or we could go Tack Village Ninja. I think I like that more. Good luck. All right, let's get it. Let's get it, my boys. All right, here we go. We'll spike the start. He's going sub eco. Oh, dude, this is just eco versus eco. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be such a boring game. No rushes are gonna be sent to around 35. Alrighty. Unless we can kill him with a cheeky mid-game rush. As always. As always. Well, um... Yeah, I will... Just keep eco in here. He gets up his air burst dartes. Pretty sure we outlast any sub eco strat, though. Unless he's got, like, sub-ice super, which you wouldn't really see on this map, and I honestly don't know how it would fare. He wouldn't be able to get that much eco, because this map's a... It's pretty easy to anti all around on this map. So, yeah. I'm not really scared of sub-ice super. Sub-ice bomb. We outlast. Um, sub-ice ninja is not honestly that very good late game. It lacks a lot of group popping power, however, um... It does have double stalls, so if he does have sub ice ninja, we'd have to rush out of smart time zone. Where we would defend a counter, if that makes sense. But I don't know why he's going for another sub, because if he has like bomb or ice, which I assume he does with any sub strategy, you'd be going for an ice or a bomb here against group balloons. So it's pretty peculiar why he opted to go for another sub. But we will see, ladies and gents, what strategy he's going. From T1 Quick Shot Team Tower Stun. That is Mr. Ryan Malik. He's gonna be pinks now. It's gonna do nothing. I might leak one life. Now he's gonna be blocks. What's he gonna do against these green balloons? He's just spamming the subs. <clears throat> I have no idea where the other towers are if he's just doing this. Sub ice ch No, he would be going for an ice. I don't know. I was going to say sub ice chipper, but... Yeah, this is weird. Our eco is definitely much higher than his. Because he's invested so much more in his defense than us. So that's a thing to note. That is a thing to note in your notepad while you're watching this video, because I know all of you watch my videos with a notepad. Am I right? Am I right? Don't be hiding from me, Mr. Corian WF. I know you're watching with a notepad right now. You can't hide it from me. All right, let's, let's do a layer on him. All right, he's just going to rush us. That's going to be Ring of Fire later, so that's why I went for attack sprayer before you're like, ew, attack sprayer, what are you doing? That's that's why, okay? It's there's logic behind it. Alright, I should stop ecoing. I think I may have over ecoed, and that will be bad. He 
he affords his, um, what's it called? His submarine. Okay, we actually didn't over eco. That's great. So well done on your submarine afford. Wait. Oh my gosh, bro. Did I really just get the range upgrade? I mean, I guess maybe he won't, he'll think I have camo detection on it now. Because it kind of looks the same with the range upgrade as the camo detection beacon. So that's, let's hope that's what he thinks. Actually, we can't afford the radar scanner anyways. We can afford it. Is he gonna rush us here? Please rush us so you're low on money. Oh, I just want to kill him with a mid-game rush, but he keeps playing so defensive. It's annoying. It's annoying, lads. I don't know what to do. We kind of just got to take it late here. We've kind of just got to take it late. Okay, why am I not getting up a ninja? He could kill us with ceramics right now. Force a tower boost on his side. Oh my gosh, that region was bad, bro. It literally insta regioned, and I messed up my spike and my jitsu targeting. We don't want to talk about it, boys. We're not gonna talk. Okay, it's glue. That makes sense why he wasn't using it before. Glue ninja sub, maybe. Glue ninja sub, probably. I imagine. Please kill him. He boosts. Is that enough? Oh, he defends. Dang it, bro. I don't want to take it late. We're going to destroy him late game with this loadout, but... Still, it's just... Please die. Looks like he's vibing. We'll send him a mob because I don't want to take it late. I mean a BFB. Even though it's not that smart of a sin, we'll still be in a fine spot if he defends it flawlessly. He's down to one boost though, which is a thing to note. What is what is he doing? Okay, we win. All right, GGs to uh, Mars, and I'll catch y'all in the next game. Thank God that it didn't hit round forty, dude. We have found Sea of Flames for our next game here. Shallow River is the map, and he is going to skip it. Fair enough. Frozen River. Shallow River turns into Frozen River. It becomes shallow and then freezes over, it looks like. What will we go in Frozen? I don't want to go Cobra again. We can go Boat Mortar, honestly. We can bring out the Boat Mortar, because I will... This is try hard, so I will be going Cobra most of my games, but when I have a chance to not go Cobra... And I still think I'll have a decent chance of winning. I'm going to go a different strategy. Because I know you guys are bored of the Cobra content. I know it. I read the comments, boys. I read them gosh darn comments. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear the sirens outside. But someone did a baddie. And there's a bunch of police cars or something. Someone did a bad thing. Okay, he's going dart Cobra. Interesting. I think I'm going to go Mixed Eco here. Because Mixed Eco should delay these rounds, plus force a lot of defense on his side. Even though normally I go BIA route. But on a map like this, I think Mixed Eco is probably better. Because he's you need to get a lot more defense on a map like this. So, Come on, let's get the Grape Shate up.
All right, we're leaking a lot, but just get some good boat targeting in. Maybe we should have started with a boat at the bottom spot, which is honestly a better spot. Okay, we've got his dart chasing now, so we'll just continue our pressure with blues. We should be able to force another trip, hopefully. Hopefully. Dart Cobra seems peculiar. Probably Dart Ace Cobra, I'm guessing. Doesn't seem that good, though. I would not recommend. Alright, that's, um, save for another boat here. Keep that one on strong. Get this one on close. Can't leak too much. Can't leak too much. Get a start to chasing with a few black balloons. Now we're sending them greens and force a spold, hopefully. We did. Awesome. We'll hold off on sending until round 9, and then we can send a big yellow rush to force more defense or leaks. We still have this one in strong, we have this one in close. We can move it to last and then target it. That's probably the best way to do it. That's probably the best. All right, get a quick layer going on the boy. This should cause leaks or defense. It appears we did fine. Why is he saying it? Hitting us with a high. Send him some whites here. Force another sport, hopefully. We did. Uh, is he fine against that? Appears he is. We have 560 eco. Holy eco, bro. You definitely got more eco than him. Definitely have an eco lead here. Do we go for a bank? We honestly could go for a bank. Or we can just continue our pressure. I kind of like the latter option more. Continue our pressure, get more eco. We should be fine against that. Per flawless defend on my part. Pat myself on the back for that one, lads. We'll see if that handles. Does that really? Look at all the sports we're forcing, dude. This is great. He's just eat going. Is he not even gonna like get cobras up? I'm a bit confused. Why this guy's playing like he is? Doesn't he know he has cobra in his loadout? Or I'm not sure if he realizes that he does have cobra. We're just gonna save up and get a BIA now. A late one. If he's not gonna rush us. Definitely interesting game so far. We'll get around 19 BIA with 750 eco. So we get our BIA up. He's smiling at us for some reason, one or another. We 
when will he adjust? Is he just gonna wait for it like and flash adjust this round 20? 25, I mean. I mean, he could do that, but I don't think it's a smart idea. We have mortar, so we have a decent adjustment defense mechanism. Quick layer on the lad. We'll see how he handles that. Force another trip. He has five trips. Holy, holy trip spam. We've honestly probably got similar eco to him. He definitely has more, but we have a BI up, obviously. We're gonna have a lot more money. We are gonna have a lot more money. He's probably just trying to take it late because we only can fit, what, six boats on this map? So I guess that's a decent play. But we're gonna have so much more money late game that I think we're just gonna win either way. And he's dead against AI. All right. Well, GG's to Sea of Flames. And I'll catch y'all in the next game. We have found DC for top 100 visual. Okay. Who is this guy? Who is this man? Skeekus Knights is his clan. We'll hit him with the high. We will stay with the good vibes and drop the high. I'll, I'll skip moon landing so we don't get completely counter stratted. Park. Okay. This is a TV in map. TV in map, we'll see what he goes. This could just go late game, which obviously won't be as fun. He's going Cobra. Okay. We just gotta watch out for offensive push. We should go defend adjustment fine. We'll throw that out. Offensive push is our concern. He only gets a one wired fun because we and I stole the round, which is great. He's crying at us. Get up the blade, Shutar. He's gonna drop down the mortar here soon. Yep, there's the mortar. There's the mortar, as you like to see. Keep sending them. The good thing is his mortar's targeted at the second bin, so he's not anti-stalling as much, which is great for us. The longer these rounds are, the better, lads. Uh, he's sending me pink balloons. We're just going to get up a faster firing. And we should vibe on. And it appears we do. That's great. That's great, lads. Hopefully our attack to Oh... Our attack's actually anti-stalling, because it was able to hit every balloon that came out of the sin the AI path, which is not ideal. We wanted to clip it, but we don't want to hit every single balloon. Because if it just misses one, that will stall the round better, if that makes sense. Not sure if what I'm saying makes sense right now, but... I'm just trying to ramble. Okay, this will force a uh, Bernie stuff, probably. Yeah, there's the burn dog. Okay, he's sending me like a bunch of black balloons and that's not feeling good on my tummy. Let's get up another tack, maybe. We'll get one right there because that will be, this will be our ring of fire later on. Even though it's not the best second tack spot, obviously it will serve purposes later on in the game. Let's get the tax faster firing, and then we can get the tax sprayer as well if he sends yellows our way. Master class on Tack Village Ninja here, boys. Okay, we forced a cannon on his side. That's great. That's all we'll do for eco, I think. Uh, let's get it to 600 first. Alright, he's sending me region whites for some reason. 
We're absolutely vibing against that. Tax sprayer OP, bro. Tax sprayer OP. No point to send them LUDs here. We'll get up our ring of fire in a second. He's not even sending me. Okay. There he goes, finally. Took you long enough, my guy. But you can see the, te the ring of fire is just doing brilliantly. And if we wanted to clip the path right here, we just get the range on the village and it will be able to clip very easily. So, yes, sir. Okay, he got up the camel detection. We didn't even need to send a camel lead. A bit of a misplay on my part. Forced a cluster on his side, that's great. Okay, now we kind of just gotta chill. Because if he offensive pushes stuff, we need money to defend it, so I can't really send him more unless he sends me more. And he is, so we can send him more now. If his plan's to take this late, he's just gonna lose. I'm sorry, bro. There isn't really more cost-effective late-game defense than Ninja plus Village. It doesn't really get better than that. The Ninja plus the um, Village ability is just busted. Because the thing the Ninja lacks is Pierce. And that just doubles the Pierce, pretty much. I forget what it specifically does, but yeah. All right, now we'll stop Beacon because he stopped. He's sending me some balloons. All right, he's sending me a, a cam, a ceramic in there. I should get that up, and that'll be absolutely fine. Such an expensive rush to do nothing. You know what I'm saying, chat. You know what I'm saying. Start building up another ninja. If he adjusts, which it appears he is, this is going to be super easy to defend, though. Ninjas under a village are much stronger than without the village as well, so it's a thing to note. We can just get one of these on strong, the other on first. And the Ring of Fire will help clean up, too. Now there's going to be leads coming out this round, and I'll show you what I mean with this Ring of Fire and the Monkey Beacon. It's 2,000 IQ, lads. It is 2,000 IQ. You'd love to see it. What did he just do? Did he send me, like, a BFB? See, look. Eclipse it. That's what you love to see. Okay, this BFB will be the easiest defend of all time. It'll be the easiest defend of all time, my man. Literally just one Maelstrom, and we clean up. Shop. Uh, let's go another Maelstrom. Alright, yeah, easy defense. We'll see what he does against this. I sent some camos in there as well. The camos got through, which is great. Hopefully we can get a camo rush through. Kind of do. Not really. We forced a lot of leaks though, which is great. If we can just keep exposing his mortar targeting with layering, we should be able to win. Alright, we forced a boost there, which is obviously nice. Um, do we re-rush him? 
Do we dare to? I think we shall. That might kill him. Yeah, visual goes down. GG's to visual. Just exposing him with camo rushes. That's kind of the normal stuff. And I'll catch you on the next game. Oh, this guy is really good. Holy chat. Who is this man? Dot is his name. 8 million meds. Uh, this might be a modded account. There's probably a decent chance that it is. I do not know who this is. Shapes? I'm skipping that. I don't really like playing shapes. Park, once again. Okay. TVN, I guess. He's going... This guy has an amazing record. Cobra off the rip. Okay, well, he, he anti-stalled way too hard, so we don't even need to spike, I'm pretty sure. Because that was a super hard anti-stall, what he just did. So I'm pretty sure he won't get double hard funds. Yeah, he didn't. That's great. That is great. We can save a spike. That's what you like to see, lads. There's his mortar, so it's going to be the same matchup as last game, but this opponent is very, very good, so... If he's not a modded account, which I'm obviously not sure of, but you just got to stay high alert, you know what I'm saying, chat? You know what I'm saying. So he's targeting his mortar at the second bend, as I talked about before last game, which is not the ideal targeting, because as being the Cobra player, you always want to anti-test all the rounds, and especially if you're facing Eco as well. So, yeah. I'm not sure about that play. We are anti-stalling here, which is not ideal. Hopefully, we get some blue balloons through without being hit, and that doesn't appear so, so... Attack spot once again anti stole the round. Looks like he doesn't even want to go for the faster firing on his mortar. He just wants to tank some leaks. Okay. Fair enough, broski. Fair enough. He's sending me constant pinks, which haven't forced a single leak on us yet. Blacks will force leaks, though, as you saw last game. up another attack here and this will be the ring of fire obviously that will be the ring of fire we'll upgrade it a little bit just because we're starting to leak a bit which obviously we want to save as many leaks as possible here we don't want to get exposed to like early adjustment or something and leak our heart out okay we, nef we need to force his um, Bernie stuff here with yellows and then we can stop echoing okay that's enough eco that is enough for me background noise is annoying. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Get a monkey fort just to help our tax popping power against that rush. Now we're fine. Okay, we get up the ring of fire in time. He's sending me white balloons. We're vibing against that. We'll get up our um, radar scanner here in a second. He already got the camo detection on his mortar, so we don't need to send him camos. Send him one rush here. Just because I have spikes in case ceramics come my way. We'll see what he does against that. He gets up his bomb. Nicely done. Nicely done, my guy. 
He sells his bomb. Okay, we can't get any more Cobras up. I mean, can't get any more Eco. Because it looks like he might be preparing for an offensive push. And our Eco's already decent. Our Eco's already decent. So we were probably ready for offensive push rushes. From our guy, Mr. Dot. And if he adjusts us, we're going to be fine against it, so. And it appears that's what he's doing. Okay. We should be fine against that. Yeah, we are. Oh my gosh, there goes the topping again, bro. Okay, um... Monkey Beacon. Look at that Ring of Fire range, dude. That is amazing. That is exactly what you like to see. Exactly what you like to see, lads. Do we just go double Ring of Fire here? Double cheeked up on a Wednesday afternoon? Sun isn't even out yet. I think that's the move. Keep that on strong, keep the other one on first. Yeah, what is getting through that? Come on now. Come on now, Jenkins. Ain't nothing getting through that, bad boy. The double cheeked up ring of fire is looking beautiful on a Sunday afternoon. So taking this late, we should just win. We have the much better late game loadout. Much, much better. Is he gonna be able to is he gonna be fine against AI here? AI gets kind of spooky this round. We might be able to expose him with camel rushes like the old person, because he is leaking quite a bit. So maybe that will be my game plan, just to kill him early with camos. Maybe we can uh, adopt that game plan once again. Because he has leaked a lot, and he doesn't have any attritions up. This man is continuing to adjust. If things get spooky, we can just do a maelstrom as well. We can just maelstrom. I bet you I kill him with round 22 camos. Just sneak then. Because he's going to go for an impact and not think of anything else. And we're just going to kill him with him. Real quick, because we're not even going to balloon boost or anything. Just a quick layer on him. Yeah, he's dead. I told you. I told you. It's literally that easy. The mortar pierced them. It just gets absolutely exposed. GG's to this guy with a crazy win loss. And I'll catch you on the next game. We have found Mr. Bear here. How are you doing, Mr. Bear? Is there a Mrs. Bear in the equation as well? Or are you kind of just a lone wolf or a lone bear? <laughs> I'm funny. I'm funny. Hi, how are you? He's from Clan Supreme. We're from the Halleck members, of course. Of course. And we'll start off with an anti stall, a crisp one at it. Oh, he anti stalls as well, so he has dart. Okay, we should have went for a boomerang there once he put us down his dart, but you know, a bit of a misplay by me. Curious as to what his other towers are. Okay, he's already gotten up the trip. Is he ecoing? Nani? Mr. Bear is bringing the eco to the town. Okay. You like to see it. 
Wonder what eco strategy he's going here. I wonder, I wonder. On cards as well. Interesting choice. An easy to anti stall map with a lot of farm space. Kind of the things you don't want to do as an eco player. But, you know, we'll see how it goes for Mr. Bear. I'm going to send him constant pinks, and if he has bad trip dart targeting, he'll probably leak to this. We'll boost against this. Should be able to get up our um, Bionic and two more income boosts. One more income boost, please. There we go, perfectly calculated. We'll blue and boost these to slow down his eco, because he's gonna need to go up defense or he's just gonna tank leaks. Looks like he gets up another dart and it's fine. Well done, Mr. Bear. Well done, my guy. Keep getting up Cobras. <clears throat> he gets up a third trip, okay. Do we send him a big yellow rush here to force even more defense? Oh, Spactory, what the heck? What is this man rocking? Dart, Spac. I'm curious as to what his last tower is now. This is interesting, Lance, it's very interesting. You don't see this every day, bro, with the Disney Channel full. Okay, send him a LUD here. We'll see what he brings against this. If he upgrades his back you're just going to send lots of LUDs, and this will slowly eat away. That is... Dart with back. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can adjust against this. We don't need a defensive push stuff. We can adjust against it. Definitely an interesting strategy, though. Can't say I've seen it before. Okay, he's... Okay, he's sending me camos. Okay, I forced a tower boost on his end. If he all outs us, get double turbo. I guess we'll see if he's able to afford a fan club here. If not, he's probably going to be dead. Yeah, he's dead. GG's to Mr. Bear. And I'll catch you all in the next game. We have found the void here for our next game. 13 mil men's on the fellow. Pretty good record as well. He has a pretty nice ba banner. Let's say. It's from Alliance. GLGL, GL. we'll go Cobra, okay, skipping, Concrete Alley, Park once again, do we want to run Park for the third time in the video, probably not, probably not, Zen Garden, oh, dude, this could be the end, this could be the end, I'm so bad at these, like, short, grindy maps, you know, I'm so bad at them. But we'll see how this goes. We will see how this goes, gents. I don't know what the eco start is with Dartling anymore here. I do not. I guess we'll just kind of wing it. I'm a guess 256. Alright, that was a terrible start. I don't know why I even tried that. Okay, I forced a powerful darts at least. Uh, we're gonna leak a lot here. Probably the worst start we could ask for in all honesty. I don't know what I was doing with my eco numbers.
Alright, you guys didn't see a thing. At least we get up a farm lead. But we've used all three spikes in the last 50 lives, so... At what cost? At what cost? That's what you gotta ask sometimes. Hopefully we don't lose our record here, though. Hopefully. That's all we can hope, ladies and gents. Start sending him some black balloons here. We can boost against his greens. The balloon boost these. Is he really fighting against our blacks? Wow. Well done, my guy. I thought on a map like this, with the weird path thing, he'd leak a lot, but... Stand corrected. Okay, we force the second powerful arts. Great. Great force. We're up on farms, which is big, even though we're down a boost. Farms are very important in these matchups. Okay, we're fine against that. A bit spooky. Not gonna lie, a bit spooked. We're fine at the end of the day. Oh crap, I don't, didn't mean to place that. Okay. Is he gonna go for a farm? He does. Let's force a boost here. Okay, there's the boost. That's what you like to see. We forced a farm cell. Beautiful. He forced it on my end as well. Okay, it's gonna be intense. Really, no leaks. Oh, that's bad. That's bad for us. Send him a camo lead here. He gets up the camo detection. Okay. We get ours up. We're fine against that. Hopefully a force a boost here. What? Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Top of his head! <laughs> 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 <laughs>